welcome back to the Coco Bar Crafts YouTube channel again. So I'm doing a little video showing you uh, things that I finished for spring and summer and maybe not that much um, summer but you know and then some plants that I have here already cut and ready to go. So I thought it would be nice to show you this because I don't usually make many things. Uh, but this summer I really wanted to make more clothes because the past two years I haven't made almost anything apart from maybe a pair of PJs or I don't know, a pair of trousers or something like that that are really needed. But yeah, I haven't really made many things. Uh, but this summer I had a feeling that I was going to use my summer clothes a little bit more. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you what I've made already because I already started with all my plans. And then I'll show you what is coming after, which is quite a long list. Uh, I've made a list here. So, oh my God, it's so long. Um, I'm not sure I will be able to finish everything, you know, before I can enjoy the summer, but I'll try. Um, so yeah, I'll show you everything and hopefully you will enjoy the video. Yay! <laughs> okay, so first of all, I want to explain that what I usually do, so I don't usually like almost never buy a fabric uh, or a pattern without thinking I'm going to use it straight away. So what I try to do 95% of the time is to um, think about a project. I mean, I think about the things that I need first and then I search for a pattern and then search for the fabric. I think it usually goes that way. Of course, I've seen fabrics in the past and I've just came up with, you know, a pattern um, for that fabric, even if I didn't really need to make that that specific thing but i'm not really a person who just buys fabric because it's beautiful without thinking about a project mainly because that stresses me out a lot i wouldn't be able to have a stash of fabric there waiting to be used it's just in, in my case i know that a lot of people have that but it's i can't deal with that with knowing that all that fabric is there and i'm not really using it so um so yeah i basically uh, if i feel like for the new season like this year i really need to make a few more things then i just sit down uh search for all the patterns search for the fabric sometimes i see a fabric and i see and i think oh this fabric is beautiful I, I might make this because i need it you know to make it um so it's like a combination but i think it the the, the pattern comes first usually so i don't know um so yeah <laughs> just wanted to explain this before i started so i'm gonna start with the things that i've made already and i mean these are just two cute tiny things i made two uh tilly button mm, colors so C has this pattern on the website and it's just you know like a thing that you can wear on top of a top if the top is just maybe like a plain top or something and you just want to make it look prettier then i made these two colors just using some scraps that i had on my uh like little scrappy thing that I have in there from all projects. So I made these two, I don't know, I think they look really cute. Of course I need to iron them because they were on my wardrobe and they are a little bit wrinkled. Um, so yeah, I made these two and I also made two for a friend. Um, I don't know, I think it's one of those projects that you can do super quickly. You can give it as a gift or you can make it for yourself and it doesn't, I mean, it's just like this super quick. And the one, and there is one left that I have here that I need to make with a ruffle because this one you can add a really little ruffle all, um, around the collar, like this one, for example. This one is part of a shirt, but you know, you understand the concept of, of the ruffle. Um, so yeah, these two are done. Then I made this pair of uh, cherry, Quilots, which is one of the Coco Wawa patterns, is super comfy, but I made them longer because I didn't want to, I don't know why lately, I don't feel like wearing culottes when it's summer, uh, the, like the structure, I, I feel like it doesn't really suit me that much, even though I have a pair of culottes for the summer. So I made them just a little bit longer and I added uh, patch pockets and inseam pockets as well. 
and I made quite a wide waist bunny uh, this time because I realized that they are more comfortable, they suit me better and also they don't twist or move as much because when I make like thinner uh, waistbands sometimes they are so uncomfortable and they just get all twisted even if you do like the trick of sewing on the side seams on top of the uh, elastic so that it stays in place doesn't really work that well so yeah I made this and I'm really looking forward to using this and this is a color that I never use I mean it's like an off-white cream um, I didn't want to have like white white so it's more like an off cream uh, off white cream color and it's linen from Atelier Brunette and uh, yeah I don't know why I went for this because I was thinking that if I wear this at the bottom but then here I wear something with color then it will look nice because I think that this against my face no way I mean I'm super pale so in my case I don't feel like it suits me so um, yeah I made them because I use this color because it's trousers so I was like it's away from my face so that's fine um, so yeah I think these are super cute I already uh, tried them on a couple of times and they are so comfy I'm just waiting for the weather to get better because here was suddenly super nice and now it feels like winter today I'm just like what's happening I don't know it's quite cold uh, that's why I'm wearing a jumper but anyway so um, yeah this and then I made this pair which it looks pretty similar but it's not these are the trousers from the Agnes uh, PJs from mm, this one of these times that I need to think why I didn't write this down I, I will leave all the patterns uh, on the description box paper theory yeah so I love the Agnes PJs because I've made a pair and I'll show you in a second and I love the trousers and how like the fit and everything they are long they are really nice so I made a pair uh, just you know to wear with mm, tops uh, during the summer and I used another linen from Atelier Brunette in this color that again I don't usually use but I wanted to use colors that I don't usually use so I went for different things and I really like this, uh, this, uh, this, this pair of, of trousers. I finished them yesterday and they're so comfy. So I can't wait to wear these. So these are done. Another thing that I finished is this pair of um, Agnes PJs. So the PJs are underneath, which are sleeping now from these. Um, this is another linen from, uh, but this one is from Merchant and Mills. And you know what happened <laughs> when I finished the pattern I was like I mean in the summer with a pair of sandals and then a like a crossbody bag maybe I don't know a little jacket on top who is gonna think this is a pair of PJs nobody right so um, I think these are going to move on to my normal wardrobe because I like them too much to just wear them when I'm sleeping I'm just like this fabric is beautiful it's like pink with orange I was like no way I need to wear this you know out and about so yeah I'm gonna wear this even if they look like PJs because I really love it it's so comfortable and you know I made a huge effort to do like the, the finishing techniques things done by hand I don't know I'm just gonna wear it when it's hot, you know, like linen is super soft and nice and flowy. So I think if I accessorize this well, it will look like a pair of PJs. What do you think, guys? Let me know on the description, on the, not the description box, on the comments. Okay. So next, now I, oh yeah, I'm wearing also these, now I'm full of threads. So I'm wearing this um, pair of peppermint wide leg trousers from peppermint magazine you know that they have free patterns they are basically the most comfortable trousers i've ever worn made they are so comfy and i also took you know quite a little bit of time to finish this so i you know did all the steps properly reading everything i have another pair uh, in cordura that i've used in winter and they are so comfortable honestly they're like loose the waist is like not like tight or bothering you it's just, like perfect 
The only thing I added was uh, patch pockets because the bag doesn't have any pockets and I don't like trousers without pockets at the back. Uh, if it's not like linen or I don't know something for the summer so yeah I went for that and I used this Gabardine uh, twill cotton I think it is uh, like a twill cotton from um, and it's super soft from Atelier Brunette another cream I mean who am I uh, I never thought I would wear this color um, but I don't know I'm really loving it I think it's like a little bit different uh, to the other things that I have so I made these and I've been wearing them a lot so really love this one these I don't think are suitable for like summer summer because it's quite thick but for spring autumn perfect so next um, I'm gonna show you all this mass of things so I've got these are two projects this is again linen from Merchant and Mills yeah I know I've gone Mm, crazy no I don't want to say crazy I've just gone I don't know I haven't been thinking so yeah this is green with pink lines oh, but I mean if you go get close it's not really pink it's more it's like a super soft pink it looks more like white but to me it's like a little bit of pink so I'm gonna make um, I've got my list here, let me check it because if not I'm gonna forget. So I'm gonna make a pair of Chanel Chanel shorts, which these are from a French pattern company that I didn't know about. I found it I think on Instagram or someone made something. Anyway, uh, I'll leave the link below so that you can see uh, the, the pattern company. They look really nice and comfy. So. Uh, making a pair of Chanel shorts and then I'm making a blazer from I Am Patterns. I don't remember right now the name of the blazer but it's like a super easy jacket blazer. I'm not gonna align it because this is for summer so to me this is like a cute set of jacket and the shorts. So this is my next, uh, the thing that I'm gonna make next. Everything is cut so super ready to go. The blazer is super easy. I'm actually, I actually made it with one of my students because he wanted to make this blazer and I helped her and it took nothing. I mean, it's super easy to make. Um, so yeah, and then I need to think about the buttons because it took me ages. I mean, I was in this haberdashery shop here in Amsterdam and I was looking at million buttons and I didn't know which one to go for. So in the end, I just, I was just like, when I finish, I will go with the jacket and then I might be able to um, maybe choose one or maybe just find one from my own um, button little stash. So there we go with that project. Next, let me show you this one. I have this elastic thread already ready here. So I'm gonna make a raspberry dress like one of my patterns and it, the bodice is shirt so that's why I have my um, elastic here which you know as you can see is a thousand meters so I think I'll have enough uh, for this dress and oh my god I found this dress it's from a company I put it down in here I'm just gonna go and do this so that I know what I've said uh, it's a um, French shop online shop and uh, maybe they have a shop in France somewhere. Estrayer. Estrayer. I'll leave the link below. And uh, they sell such beautiful fabrics and they also design fabrics and I think this is one of their designs. So this is a super super oh my god my eye. I think it's the hay fever. Okay. Um so yeah um it's like a super soft cotton does it say if it's cotton? I think it says something about the pattern company. It's made in France. Oh la la. Made in France. Uh, Dolce. Ah, it's the collection. Do ah, cotton. So yeah, I think it's a cotton satin. And uh, the collection is Dolce Vita. Estranger. Made in France beautiful I mean and they have the same print in different colors so they have different collections same print in different colors I almost got like another color because I was so obsessed with this print but then I was like no Anna 
let's find something else so i'm gonna make a raspberry dress which i'm really excited about i will add the ruffles on the sleeves uh, or the straps because we don't have the sleeves and yeah i think it's gonna look super cute there I've got my last Tilly Buttons collar, which, you know, I'm using some of this uh, Liberty fabric that I got um, just, you know, to make this and something else that I don't remember right now. Why did I use this fabric? I don't remember. Mm, I've used it before for coats, but it was something else. I don't remember. Well, anyway, I'm going to make another collar. Then I've got here, everything is cut and ready to go. I've got this uh, Robert Kaufman Bentana twill uh, on this, like, again, a different color to the ones that I usually use. So I'm really proud of, I cannot see any lilac here. So there's one coming there, but just one. Um, so yeah, I'm really proud of choosing a different color. So I'm going to make a tailor jacket. So maybe if you've been following me for a little bit of time, you might be thinking, didn't you already have a tailor jacket out of that fabric? Yes, it wasn't very well made as well. Yes, as well. So I'm making it again. Um, so it looks mm, better than it was uh, previous time. I tried to mend the other one, it didn't work out the way that I wanted, so I gave it to someone um, who really liked it, so um, yeah. Uh, so I'm making the Tello jacket from Pauline Alice, I love that pattern, it's more like a structured jacket, so I think it's great for maybe September, or if you live in the Netherlands or the UK or somewhere that is not too hot, then you can wear it along the summer during the night when it's cold, you know, gets cold there or whatever. Um, so yeah, and I'm using a really pretty flowery bias binding um, bias binding from Liberty. So I got it in a shop here in Amsterdam. They sell many, many, many bias bindings from already made from Liberty. So yeah, that's another project. I'm getting stressed out about taking them out of the box because I have buttons, a lot of things there. This is another peppermint wide leg pair of trousers, Gabardine from Atelier Brunette in, again, a different color for me. I mean, what am I doing? I don't know. I'm just, ch I'm changing. I'm just, you know, trying to go for different colors and now I'm full of threads. So yeah, this one I really love. I think the color is called chestnut or something like that. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. It's like, a, I don't know, I would say it's like a terracotta, like a dark red mixed with orange beautiful so another pair of these uh those are i don't think i will be using them uh in the summer but for autumn it will be really nice then uh okay i can see that everything is okay this one this button i think is for the tailor jacket there it goes i don't know what is this is for oh yeah the dress mm. oh no what is this for Honestly, guys, I don't remember. Oh, for something there. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make uh, my buttons are flying. So I'm gonna make a blouse, not a blouse, an archer shirt. Which, if you know me, is this one? Is one of my favorite uh, patterns ever. Basically, I'm just writing down what I've told you yeah so uh if you know me you know i love an archer shirt from from grain line studio i think is the best shirt pattern ever to me i love it it's super comfy the size and everything it just feels perfect for me and i'm using and this is a nerida hansen cotton satin that i bought at sister mintaka which is one of my favorite uk shops and I love, it's like, I think it's called Technicolor or something like that. I don't know. I love it. It's lilac, I know, but I needed to have at least one. And yeah, I think it's super fun. And I know that this one I can wear in the summer, but then all, you know, all year around with uh, like a jumper and, you know, like a cardigan or something like that. Then I'm going to make, and this is a first for me. I don't think I've ever made anything from my hand London. I know that's absolutely mm, impossible to believe, but it's true. Uh, I think maybe I, I made a Hannah dress that years ago, not a Hannah dress, this is a Hannah dress, a Sina dress um, years ago, but 
I didn't really wear it. It was not very well made, so I gave it to charity years and years ago. So I'm making the Hannah dress um, because I actually helped one of my students making a Hannah dress and I was like, mm, I need to make that one. So yeah, and I'm using this absolutely cute uh, sheer sucker um, fabric. I got it in London from Fabrics Galore. I think maybe they still have it. I mean, how cute is this? So it's like a wrap dress. I think it's gonna go look super cute and I'm absolutely copying the lovely Natalia who is a Brazilian amazing maker based here in the Netherlands. I met her on Instagram and then in person. She's super lovely and I love her style. I mean, the, all the colors she uses and the patterns. I feel always super inspired by her. I will leave the link below so that you can uh, find her as well. So she basically made a Hannah dress using this fabric. So I'm just copying her basically. I just told her, yeah, I'm gonna make the same because I really love it. So this is another one. And then I just have two more, so don't you worry guys, I'm almost done. Um, then I have here, I oh, know the buttons are fly. Sorry, it's because I have everything like already ready to start. I don't know why I put my buttons this way. And it doesn't really work out. Okay, so I'm making uh, the zero waste dress by someone that I don't remember right now the name. So let me see. Oh no, I don't have the... Oh yes, I have the pattern pieces here. It's not the pattern pieces, the instructions. Because it's a zero waste dress, you need to draw it yourself, which was a first. It was a little bit confusing at first, but then I think I did it okay. So zero waste gathered dress, it doesn't say the name of the company. Mm, oh, it, I think the designer is called Brigitte or Brigitta or something like that. I'll leave the link below. I think she's amazing with like zero waste patterns. Um, so I'm gonna, I wanted to give it a go and I went for, again, I said I didn't have any more lilac. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, I mean, Compared to the rest, I think it's fine. So I'm making a zero waste dress with this beautiful fabric. I think it's like a cotton from uh, Pigeon Wissies, uh, Meg, who is one of my friends from the UK. So I got this fabric. I think the shop is called Fabric Revival. And honestly, they sell such cute fabrics. They don't have a huge selection, but to be honest, I really love the shops that don't have like a huge selection that you get lost looking for anything. But then the ones that they have are just like perfect for you. You're like, yes, I love every single one. I don't need a million of them. Just the, you know, these, these ones that you sell. So I think she sells really nice uh, fabrics. So as you can see, yeah, I'm making, uh, and then I might make a scrunchie. I have some scraps left. So I might make like a scrunchie or something to go with the dress. Um, so yeah, that's almost the last project. And then the last, last one, Another one that I need to hold like this is the Patina Blouse by Friday Pattern Company. Uh, I wasn't sure about the, because I was like, why don't I make like another archer set, maybe with shorter sleeves. And I was like, no, I will make something else. So I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. I love Friday Pattern Company. I think they have such amazing designs. I think this might be my first, almost my first, but um, yeah, I'm really happy to use their patterns. And this is a, um, this is from Fabric Godmother, it's a viscose twill, and if I'm not mistaken, this is one of their own designs, so yeah, it's like a um, zodiac sign type of thing. My only problem, I mean, I really love the, it, this is not my style at all regarding prints, I don't know, but I love, I saw the, all the, like the black, with the colors and I felt like, oh, this might be cute. I really love the fabric. My only problem is this, uh, the print is very big. So I thought it was gonna be smaller so you could see it more. And on a blouse, you might lose like what the pattern is about. So mm, not sure how it's work, going to work out. When I cut the pieces, I just tried to make sure that you could see like almost all the things. I think it's gonna be fine, but mm, not sure just yet. Um, so yeah, I think that's the last one, Hannah dress done. Uh, yeah, and I'm waiting for just one more fabric. What am I doing? I mean, I honestly, if I show you my wardrobe right now of summer, I have 
t-shirts I have, that's why I can, I'm not making tops. Um, but I have like mm, four things basically. So I was like, Anna, make a few things. You deserve it. Past couple of years have been crap. Just make things that make you smile. Uh, sometimes you just need to step out of the real world and make something that makes you smile because you also deserve that. So that's what I'm trying to think, to be kind of uh, with myself um, because yeah, I do all the things or try to do the things for the world and for others. So yeah, that's, you know, trying not to justify myself all the time because I'm making things that I like. Um, so yeah, these are all my spring summer plans. I don't have any other plans and I'm not going to make anything else because I don't think I will be able to even finish this. Next year, I would love to make a swimsuit, bikini, I don't know, something like that, something fun. Um, but not this year. This year, I think this is enough. I don't think I will finish everything. So I'm trying to prioritize what is more like summer, summer. Um, so yeah, I will be continuing with this and I will do my set, which I'm really excited about. I think it's going to look really cute. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. It wasn't too long. I was not rumbling too much. Let me know what you think about the projects and also let me know your projects. I would love to know which fabrics you're using, which patterns you're making, if you're making a cocoa or something. Um, so yeah, I will uh, see you soon. I think it will be at some point in June. So yeah, we'll see you by the end of the month for sure. I think I may do a video of finished uh, garments and maybe even in July I might make one that is like my summer wardrobe, spring and summer, uh, just to show you what I have in my wardrobe uh, handmade at the moment when I finish lots of these things. So yeah, hopefully that will be like a nice video to make. So yeah, I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to and give me a like and a comment. Yay, bye.